meantime, Las Americas Immigrant Advocacy Center says they have submitted 50 applications for visas that were meant for the victims of crimes for people who were at the Walmart the day of the shooting. That's right, but they say only one has received a response from immigration. And our KG7 News reporter Shelby Cab files this story. Individuals that were present that day included folks that are citizens, immigrants that are uh, folks that have lived in our community for many years, legal permanent residents, folks with um, pending cases, with no status, newly arriving immigrants that are asylum seekers, and then of course tourists, right? The visas they are applying for are called U visas and are for victims of criminal activity. According to the United States Citizenship and Immigration Services, U visas are set aside for victims of certain crimes who have suffered mental or physical abuse and are helpful to law enforcement in the investigation. The Las Americas Immigrant Advocacy Center says there is a backlog of people trying to get the visas. Almost four years after the shooting, we see that with victims of crime, they're able to submit um, U visas with immigration. However, there's an over 20 year wait to actually obtain the U visa. A woman named Anna Gabriella, who was at the Walmart on August 3rd with her son, has applied for a U visa. She spoke during a press conference held by Las Americas on Wednesday, but in Spanish. Están tirando balazos. An employee of Las Americas translating what she said. I remember seeing someone get shot at the entrance. And that's where I completely paralyzed from the shock. My nine-year-old, then nine-year-old Eduardo, dragged me out of the Walmart screaming and crying. I will never forget that and my son's face filled with fear. Shelby Cap, KTSM 9 News. As for the shooter himself, he has pleaded guilty to federal charges last month and was then sentenced to 90 consecutive life sentences. He is, however, still facing state charges and could even face the death penalty under that state prosecution. No date, though, has been set for that trial as of now. And for a complete history of all of his legal charges and convictions so far, you can always check out our website, KTSM.com.